from coast to coast and around the world, it's time to praise the Lord. on Praise the Lord from the vacation capital of the world, exciting Central Florida, as we bring you anointed pastors, evangelists, teachers, authors, and other special guests with testimonies and teachings and music to glorify God as we lift up Jesus Christ as Lord. Less than a week ago, America was changed again. Less than a week ago, lives were lost. Tragically, young lives, middle-aged lives. People who seemed like they had a bright future before them found out that evil was trying to overtake us. And one of the things I want every person to grab is this a lot of people want to try and address theological differences and interpretation of who was right and who was wrong but that's not the issue the issue is that Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords and the issue is that someone lost someone tragically I like to say a soul is a soul it's not a black soul it's not a white soul. It's not a Hispanic soul. It's not an old soul. It's a soul. And God said in his word that all souls are mine. We are all God's children. Jesus did not die on the cross for one particular person. If you look around the church of all nations right now, there's all ages, all cultures, all creeds, and all ethnicities. And every one of us sitting here today is a beneficiary of Calvary. Every one of us sitting here today can't even imagine what it would be like if we perhaps would have someone that was dear to us that had encountered such a tragedy. But I want you right now to bring your mindset of support because the Bible says where there's unity, there is strength. Where there's love, there is God. Where there's God, there is comfort. Where there's comfort, there is strength. Where there's strength, there is God's word. And I want to share a passage of scripture just for a few moments. As we support, as we remember, as we pray for, as we speak from our hearts. To the hearts, to the mothers, the fathers, the sisters, the brothers, the family members and the victims of the families. We love you from Trinity Broadcast. We love you from the kingdom of God. We support you and we are with you beyond 1,000%. Because everybody, it could have been me, it could have been you. But thank God that we're able to support someone else in this time. I want someone to say with me, we're going to pray for Orlando. Come on, church of all nations. Let's say it again. We're going to pray for Orlando. We're going to pray for the United States of America. We're going to pray for the world. My prayer this morning is that God will bring his anointing. There's a passage of scripture that says in Romans 8 and 31, what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He spared not his own son, but delivered him up for all of us. How shall we not be with him who freely gives us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemneth? 
it is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, making intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor present, nor things to come, nor height, nor debt, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. I want you to say with me, God still remains. I really, I want us to say it so the people who are watching all over the world, who might be dealing with catastrophic feelings, grief, sorrow, anxiety, stress, anger, I want you to say this with me one more time because we want to send the energy of compassion throughout the world right now. I want you to say it, God still remains. We're about to get there because sometimes it's good to understand that God still remains. Have you ever needed him? Well, let me talk about me. I need him. Have you ever needed him? Have you ever gone through something in life and, and you didn't know what God was doing? You wanted to ask God why? Why me? Why now? Why not someone else? But God still remains. We're going to talk about some victories and some keys that we got to understand that we must do in order to have victory in our lives. I love to be able to address something, and I want to talk to the body of Christ for one moment. The issue is not our ritualism. The issue is not the interpretation of who's right and who's wrong. The issue is not doctrine. The issue is not religious tactics. The issue is evil came in Orlando and thought that evil was going to win, but God still remains. I want somebody to give God a praise that God still remains. I've been asked, one of my members lost six of their co-workers in this tragedy. And questions are being asked. And then many in the religious community will maybe try to overstep their boundaries to determine who was lost or perhaps who was saved. That is not our job. Our job is to declare the name of the Lord in the earth that God still remains. Say that with me, God still remains. I, I like to think that when I think about this horrific act, and I'm not trying to be a divine interpreter, but when the name of the place in which was attacked with this horrific murder the name of the place was called Pulse. And when I think about that, a pulse is indicative or a sign that there is still life. I'm going to say that again. When most people think that something is over, they check the pulse. But I'm going to let you know that the God that we serve, even though there might have been loss of life of 49 people. There still is a pulse in the kingdom. There still is a sign of life that we say that God still remains. I want to share with those family members, we are loving you from this location. 
We are supporting you from the church of all nations. I want to let evil know that God is still in control of the universe. I want to let attacks know that we will not be overcame by evil, but we're going to overcome evil with good. Because life is still remaining because after this has happened, we're going to let the whole world know that there are people that will stand on their knees. I'll say it again. That will stand on their knees and let the world know that the name of Jesus still lives. The love of God still lives. So what can we say to these things? What can we say to all the horrific acts that have happened in Orlando, Florida in the last seven days? What can we say to tragedy? What can we say to murder? What can we say to the loss of life if God be for us? It doesn't matter who is against us because God still remains. The one thing I love about God is you can't get rid of him. Even though you might try to get rid of me, you can't get rid of him. And really, you can't get rid of me because I'm in him. Is there anybody here glad to know that you are in him? You know what's exciting? I'm not just excited that I'm in him. I'm even more excited, ecstatic, exuberant that he's in me. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I've been seeking God and I want to just share something with you. I've been seeking God and I've been asking God some questions. I want clarity. I don't want to stand before you, and we don't want to stand before you from the Trinity broadcast trying to be a, an expert or trying to be an expert of divine theology. We are in our humanity. We need spiritual answers. And one of the things that God spoke to me clearly, he said, you need to understand that death is a mystery. Death is a mystery. Death is a mystery. None of us know the state of one of the individuals that lost their life. None of us were there to hear the last words. None of us were there. None of us were there to know the fellowship that any victim had with me. Death is a mystery. Death is a mystery, but life is eternal. Life in God is eternal. And I just want to go and not try to emotionally carry someone in any place. I just want to state the facts of what God said to me. What God said to me is, Pastor, no one knows but me. The prophet don't know. The pastor doesn't know. The bishop doesn't know. And everyone that's claiming spiritual accolades don't know. Your walk with God is personal. Your walk with God is personal. And I believe there was some people that the enemy thought that he had victory over in some kind of way. They looked up towards heaven and just said, remember me. God help me. Somebody ought to give praise for the God that still remains. I want us to make a noise in this place and shout, God still remains. I want you to understand, I don't care what the enemy is planning. I don't care what plot. I don't care what scheme. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Even you can't separate us from the love of God. Even sin can't separate us from the love of God. Even your bad mistakes and my errors can't separate me from the love of God. You know why? Because God 
is love. In order to separate from his love, then that means that you will have to ask God to stop being God. And since he is sovereign, does what he wants to do, when he wants to do it, when he wants to do it too, who he wants to bless, who he wants to save, and you don't have to have a right to attend the meeting, he is God by himself. You can't stop him from loving you. You can't stop him from loving me. You can't stop him from loving a certain race, a color, or creed. I want to let everybody know, in the city of Orlando, it's not about what you do only. It's about who God is. He loves us regardless. Oh, I'm excited about that. I want to say something from my heart to you. And I believe this is the word of God. That what our community needs now is prayer. What our community needs now is forgiveness and unity. We don't need bickering. Not just in the city of Orlando, but in the world. We need unity and love. Sometimes you have to ask yourself the question, what color is love? You have to ask yourself the question, because when I read my Bible, the blood that was shed for Jesus, from Jesus, I think it's the same color of your blood. If I just take a moment and I look over the audience and I see African American, I see Hispanic, I see Asian, I see all colors and creeds, but that's one thing that all of us have in common. All of our blood if I bleed I don't bleed black blood if you bleed you don't bleed white blood you don't bleed Asian blood or Hispanic blood you bleed red blood what can wash away our sins nothing but the blood of Jesus and this is not about the sin is about the blood that was shed for all of us. God still remains. Somebody say prayer. prayer. Somebody say forgiveness. forgiveness. Somebody say unity. unity. I need my prayer intercessors that's in the church of all nations. I need you to help me send a sound all the way to China all the way to Aruba, all the way to the White House, all the way to the courthouse, all the way downtown on Orange Avenue. I need you to help me send a message to that broken mother, that distraught son, that horrified sister, that baffled grandmother or grandfather, that abandoned coworker that might be dealing with anxiety, pain, and anger that might not know what is going on and who to believe and who to trust. Let us get ready to send them a solid message. Let us get ready to send them a sound message. What can we say to all of these things? If God be for us, it doesn't matter who's trying to come against us. And we will not be separated from the love of God. We will not allow this horrific act to take over us and now we're promoting hate and separatism judgment and condemnation we're going to rise up we're going to rise up and declare a sound in the heavens we're going to rise up and begin to become intercessors and let the world know that when you come against the people of God when you come over the earth with evil we have a God that still remains and I want you to get ready to send some vibes because many people can't pray for themselves many people are too hurt they're confused and they're baffled but I want you to really shout out of your spirit I want you to reach those people as we let them know that God still remains I want you to shout that with me God still remains I believe we're going to say that again because we're getting ready to pray and we're getting ready to take this altar and we're going to actually ask you to get ready to come in just a moment and we're going to pray. Maybe there's someone here that's broken today. Maybe there's someone here.
that lost their loved ones are connected to someone that lost a loved one in this traffic thing that had just happened in our city. We're going to pray for our city government and our county government. We're going to pray for our federal government. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray for justice. We're going to pray for strength. We're going to pray for righteousness. We're going to pray for Orlando. We have our, we're going to worship and we're going to pray. We're going to believe that God is going to do things that we've never seen him do. We're going to believe. Can we lift our hands to worship? Orlando, Florida, we stand strong. Orlando, Florida, we stand strong. We stand united. Children of God, we stand strong. We stand united. Trinity Broadcast Network, Holy Land Experience, we stand strong. We stand united. From the UK to China to Russia to Germany, we stand strong. From every city, every country, every culture. From the Caribbean to the British Virgin Islands, we stand strong. From the neighborhood to around the corner to Orange Avenue, To the polls, we stand strong. To downtown Orlando, east side, west side, north side, south side, we stand strong. We're going to pray for Orlando. Mom, dad, sister, brother, friend, co-worker, uncle, aunt, niece, nephew, sister, brother, grandchild, neighbor, we stand strong. We stand strong with Orlando. Pastor, what can I say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? What can I say when I don't know what to say and when I don't know what to do and I'm hurting and I'm angry and I'm bitter? Nothing's going to separate you from the love of God. What can I say when I lost something I loved? When I miss them and I'm crying and I'm hurting. And I don't know what the function. As a matter of fact, God, I'm a little angry with you because this happened. You still can't separate from his love. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. And you might not know what he is doing. But at the end of the day, something good is going to come out of this. Because it's brought our community closer. Something amazing is getting ready to happen in Orlando, Florida. Because I see blacks holding white hands. I see Hispanics hugging Asian. I see old hugging young. And I know that God has our attention. And I want to let everybody know that he still remains. He's still in control of the universe. We're going to pray for Orlando. As our worship team worships, we're going to pray for Orlando. And we're going to pray for you. He's in control. Can you help me? Will you join with lifted arms? Can we do that? Can we join with lifted hands as an act of unity with that person? That, that, and I want you to hold that person's hand and say, we stand strong. Oh, we didn't say that like we should say it. Shout, we stand strong. We stand unified. We stand together. We stand in the spirit. 
letting the enemy know we know that Jesus died for every one of us. Shout it out of your soul. We stand strong. We are standing. And guess what? We're standing. We're standing on his presence. We're standing on his promises. We're not standing on our strength. We're standing in his strength. He is going to help us. Psalm 46 and 1 says, God is our refuge and our strength. He's a very present help in the time of trouble. And then verse 10 says, be still and know that I am God. What a picture that I see in front of me. I want us to say it one more time. Shout it so that mom could get strength. Shout it so that brother can get strength. Shout it so that father, that wife that lost her husband, that husband that lost his wife, shout we stand strong. We stand strong in Orlando, Florida because God still remains in Orlando, Florida. Strength still remains in Orlando, Florida for the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Let's pray for Orlando. Let's pray for Orlando. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now for Orlando, Florida. We're standing in the church of all nations by way of Trinity Broadcast Network going out to the entire world. The world is praying for Orlando. We ask you today to bless the victims, families, loved ones, friends, oh God, co-workers. We thank you, God, that you're going to give them peace, give them comfort, and give them strength. We thank you for unity in our community. It's not based upon what church we go to. It's not based upon what religion we believe in. We know without a doubt that Jesus is King of Kings and Jesus is Lord of Lords. And he died for the entire universe. We thank you, O oh God, that you're blessing our government citywide, statewide, and federally. We thank you, O oh God, for our first responders. We thank you for the second responders. We thank you for the third responders. Bless the doctors and even the ones that are in the hospital, God. The patients, O oh God, the victims who are still fighting for their lives. We thank you, God, that we don't want to see another loss of life. Protect them now in the name of Jesus. Cover them now in the name of Jesus. Heal and restore them now in the name of Jesus. Bless the doctors who have performed surgeries, the nurses, the hospital staff, the fire department, the emergency units. Oh, God, cover all of them who are diligently working to bring some form of healing and closure. We thank you right now for the prayer responders. Oh yes, God, I know we have first responders, but thank you for the prayer responders. We intercede, we call on the name of Jesus. Those that are broken, those that are angry, those that are confused, those that are still having nightmares, those that are shattered, those don't know where to go heal them now we pray for Orlando send your angels around Orlando send strength according to Psalm 91 that no evil shall befall us and no plague shall overtake our dwelling and you've given angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways we're not going to give attention to evil we're going to give attention to God. Stand up, God. Let God arise and all our enemies be scattered. Let God arise and all our enemies be scattered. We pray for Orlando.
This program has been brought to you through the prayers and contributions of our faithful partners throughout North America and the world.